an uh, all German affair this one team of all the 37 year olds for team Mays against Dino Ofteron 28 year old and uh, firmly in the uh, world top 10 of course Dino Ofteron and uh, expect fireworks from these two they will be uh, certainly looking for bragging rights as well as the points I think it's fair to say <laughs> Two nice guys, they'll happily chat with the fans once this session is uh, over. And uh, two gentlemen with a lot of experience. So we are ranked number five at the moment. And with a few medals from the Olympic Games as well. He has uh, had a mixed fortune in this uh, third round of T2. Drew with Serbia, beat Haramoto 5 to nothing in the kill zone. And then with the replacement uh, in the replacement match, off to Chang Ching Yun as well. Just Timo Boll, of course, is one of the superstars of T2, so superstars of uh, table tennis. Charles Singles titled on the world tour. <laughs> he uh, won against Haramoto 3 2 and beat Juicy Hook by 5 to nothing. Juicy Hook, to be fair, yesterday was not in his best, had been ill, but stepped up to a plate and gave it his best. This will be an interesting run for your Groskopf, as he is the German national team. So it will be interesting to see if the tactics against Timo Ball will play a huge part of this match. Yeah, the coach of the German national team got an inside line on both these players. You've got to think Timo will be right up for this match. The last time these two met, he let a huge lead slip, 10-6 up in the seventh set in the China Open. Only to lose 12-10 to Dima. Yes, we'll have that in T2. We don't go past 11. That may be a comfort or not to Timo. <laughs> Moment going the way off to off. Roscoff, Roscoff. Captain will be very happy. It's a lovely backhand from Roscoff, taking the ball right in front of his body. Short stroke, compact with a lot of power through his wrist. The yeah, ball top of the standings at the moment, off to off. Is in fourth, but only two games between them in terms of games won. So uh, thrashing here from Ofteroff would change things completely. One, At the moment, it's going his way in this first game. <laughs> Nicely done. Ofteroff not being fooled by the trademark ball serve. backhand flick from Timo. Really needs to step up here, try to attack the off draw serve, trying to get in first. time but not the second Can keep it on the table this is really good stuff from uh, the German off the top interesting tactic ball trying to tie off drop up around the net a little bit nice little Eight. inside art forehand from ball he's super at creating space where you think there isn't any through his left hip Please play. Eight, four. Eight, five. And 
the crowd off the edge of the bat. Ball, not quite out of it just yet. Oh, and the timeout's been called already by uh, Roscoff very early on. Still over 20 minutes to go. That was the shot that went into the crowd. Just uh, fractions of an inch, millimetres difference between a decent shot and one that just disappears off. It's a good tactic used by your Roscoff there. See it a lot in the world tour. The elite players calling an early timeout in the first set. First set can be crucial Eight, to the entire match. Five. Try to get a mental edge over your opponent. Stop. Well, you certainly come back here. What was it, 6 1 at one point? So, the ball is done very well. And he is so experienced. All over that serve. Went to change it up, but tried to go a long flat, but just sat up half long, unfortunately. Nine, At this level, any mistake on the serve will be punished. Ball from Ball. What a way to wrap up the first game. Dismissive of Timo Ball, 11 7, dominating the table. Timo off the trough. We're having an 80s disco party here in between the games. <laughs> Tony Basil. Second game, ball from teammates to serve. Oh, it's in it then for the Okay then, what can Timo Ball do about this? Start well and start strongly, and he has. It's clever tactic, though, from Michael Mayes saying just chip in the serve, play no spin, and then off draft cannot use the spin against you. Then you can get in strong. Uh, reach the lighting up in the rafters. Yeah. 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 Oh. Missed it. Off off looking to tie ball up with shots to the body. But, uh, Seed escaped that straight jacket or was able to uh, push home the advantage. Catching the ball there just on the wrong edge of the racket. Not making great contact. Off drop just a little bit hesitant in that backhand. Could have Felt it on, could have extended his forearm a little bit more. I wonder if it's, you Two look at across the net and there's Timo Ball and you're a little bit more respectful and tentative and something in the back of your mind. So just, just be careful. These two, of course, are great friends off the table. National team members. Talking about 
of Trot's mental state. I am told he practices meditation and yoga. So uh, if you, he looks like he's in a Zen-like state. He probably is. <laughs> Six, three. Uh, that was a collector's item. Tighter second game this one. Took the net cord. Took the point as well. Just rushing the flat flick slightly. You see a little bit of shadow play from off draft then, yeah. Fully commit to the shot first. Don't pull out of it. Don't rush it. Really yeah. reach to get that ball back off trough, but it reaped dividends. Shows you just how crucial a little low slow spin can be. Players, please play. Great shot gives you an idea of the rotation of the ball and just how fast it does spin. Let's see if Timo will go back to a no-spin service to try to get himself a chance to get in. <laughs> Timo staying a little bit closer to the table than off trough, being a little bit more dominant. We've seen him previously in earlier rounds. He's happy to sit in and hold a few balls and then take his chance. He's looking much more on song than he was in the first game. As you say, staying at the table, asking all the questions of Ofterov. Nice little change up from Ofterov playing long and deep into the ball. Backhand. Try to keep your opponent guessing. It's a horrible little ledge. A fulsome apology from Timo. Well, it's getting tight again, isn't it? Doctor off hanging here, even though ball has the game point. That's the serve as well, which will. Need his calls. That couldn't make it. So the team of all takes a second game and levels this match up. Try to whip that backhand pull out, but uh, didn't get the range straight through the net. And that's how it looks, pretty tight. Going first off to off trough, then to ball. Right, the tongue out. <laughs> he pays the forehand with the tongue out. That's what we can tell you from our super slow mo. Shox likes it. It's a good slow mo. Of, oh, you've seen it. I don't know how many different colours she has, but it seems she has the whole rainbow on her fingernails at the moment. I'm not an expert, to be fair. <laughs> no, she definitely likes to colour code what she wears with her fingernails. Always has done, even when she was a junior. Not your thing when you're on the table. <laughs> happy to sit in and guide one of the backhands back to get himself into a better position. Yeah, it was right on the line, wasn't it? Oh, oh that's brilliant for an offshore off. And that's a real statement of intent. Placed millimetre perfect. Okay, 
Again, sent the ball the wrong way, just disguised that forehand. Ball with a little bit of a nod of the head, at, nod of the head at the end, going yeah, okay, that's a good shot. Off drop, just being the more dominant of the two, getting in, attacking early. Yeah. Uh, you say you obviously had a chat after the uh, second game, have a minute timeout. More advice into his ear, and he's come out much better than the second game. A little bit of frustration from Timo. We don't often see that from the cool and collected German. Yes, he may not be the one doing uh, yoga, but he is the man with the bandana. <laughs> they can't ruffle his hair, if anything else. 37 years of age, but uh, I think it's fair to say, <laughs> looking at the table, he still does his gym work. All or nothing from ball, and it turned out to be nothing. Nice response from Ovtrov. Really short action over the table from Alfcroft. Again, using Ball's own speed and momentum against him. Uh, we're six one up in the first game. Look at him, seven one up here. <laughs> well dismissive at the moment. It's a nice little deceptive fleet feed. I mean your return of serve sat up nicely for him. Just going just swimmingly. Or off, you're off. Still 10 minutes on the clock as well. Oh, oh my word. <laughs> well, he's done it with the forehand, now he's done it with the backhand. Ten, two. He's got quite a few game points in hand, but he'll be keen, I'm sure, to get it wrapped up. Even it's a timed match, of course. Well, slice of luck to go with his good play. Finishes off that third game, and Ovtrov is 2-1 to the good against Timo Ball. That's the tail of the tape. Ovtrov looking really good for it. Super slow-mo cameras give you a real glimpse into the craft and the art of these table tennis players. Um. Well, we're not supposed to have a timeout between uh, third and fourth, but uh, we're already 50 seconds on the clock. Maybe something that we sort out for round three. We've been fine-tuning as we go along. The head went long. Timo Ball looks like he's in a hurry to level up here. Lovely switch up from Ovtrov. Just causing Ball a little bit of problems with it, the amount of deception he has currently on both his backhand and his forehand when he comes across the ball. Lovely change of direction. The ball, not for the first time in this match, was heading one way, the ball was heading the other. Again, implementing the long bouncy service. <laughs> he feels there is, there is a lot of aircon on at the moment. I can, one, three. I can feel a breeze from the aircon. I think he's right that there is and breeze down onto the table, which is not what you want. These players use such fine margins. I'm just got a little dust of the aircon. 
Hopefully it's not affecting the players too much. Ball looking really, really unhappy. Signaling to Michael Mears. Something's bothering him. Uh, without a shadow of a doubt, it's the air conditioning. He's creating a breeze. I can feel it. And if I can feel it on the table, he must be feeling it. I'm not sure there's... Anyway, well, they've got a timeout to come, but can the uh, captain ask the referee just to stop the clock and sort it out? Well, as good as off drop serves have been in round three, <laughs> ball hasn't missed that many forehand up, forehand open ups in previous matches, so it's a little bit concerning that the ball is going long. Uh, the captain, Michael Mays. If I was Timo, I'd be straight round the umpire, try to get a fix. He's won two so far in round three. He'd love to make it three out of three. him adjusting playing a shorter stroke try to keep the ball in the table Speed really, really quick. Clock is running down. If he keeps fighting, <coughs> it'll run down even more. Nine, Did really well there to adjust off the net cord. Just wasn't to be off draft, creating a little bit of height. Ball kicking up to the ball racket. Well, from my angle, that ball kicked and jumped on the table. I don't really know if that's the best ball. He already, he already just discarded one. Left. Ten, five. Let me get over the line here. It's gone long. And we have... Three minutes, 55 left on the clock. Okay, this is supposed to be just a very brief 15 second change ever. It won't be, I can assure you that. We're on to, what, 20 seconds already. Yeah. Anyway, three to one is how it looks at the moment. Team of ball just looking a little bit out of sorts and not happy about the, uh, I think it is, the draft coming from the aircon. These are of course huge aircons uh, in uh, Pinewood Studios. Long. Nice little spin up from ball. Playing a little bit slower, a little bit lower over the net. Oh. 
Nice little deceptive backspin serve. Don't like that ball either. That's two they've dispatched in a couple of minutes. We do have lots, don't worry. Well, I'm hoping the ball boys aren't putting those back into the basket though. No, I got my eye on the first one that went. That's by our crane camera. The interesting thing is that the ball boys do hold the next ball to be thrown to them in their hands. So you can get a bit sweaty. That's three. We've got a hat trick now. I think that one has gone to a ball boy's hand. <laughs> he is, and Ross Koff will be sweating on the side. It was those two that looked through the ball baskets. So well defensively to my ball. Just couldn't get over the line on that point. Yeah, first defensive backhand was just brilliant, but in the end, too much space on the table. 3-3, three, three. minute and 20 to go. Three, four. All very tense. Marvellous flick backhand. Not going where off Joff thought it was going, that's for sure. Ball kept it so low over the net, it was difficult for off Joff to play any par off that, never mind even try to win the point. Then really, really quick backhand from Ball, but he couldn't follow it up with the uh, forehand. And this is going down to the wire. Yeah, just got a little bit caught in the middle, body lifting up out of the shot instead of going forward. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. A nice smile there from off drop, he knows the time is ticking down, that was a huge error. He's oh. going to take the time out, we all wondered what was going on there. I think he just turned around and said, stop the clock, I'm having a timeout. And why not? What is there? 13 seconds on the oh clock. <laughs> they lost yeah, about right. four seconds there, though. The timeout was called and there was a little bit of hesitation from yeah, the umpires. I do wonder whether, you know, we're talking about tweaks perhaps to the format, whether the referee can have the power just to wind the clock back five seconds. We shall see. I think they have done in the past, but that's been at the request from the captains. Four, five. We haven't started the clock yet. We will do it when they start playing. When each A is across the table with the uh, finger on the timer. And that could be the point that secures the game for Team Overall. They yeah, just they might take their time, wait for the buzzer to go. <laughs> he plays it anyway. I don't know whether he gets the point or not. He's academic. Not one of his more impressive serves either. Fabulous. 3-2 in the end. And the team of all winning the timed game at the end. And he wasn't very happy with the air conditioning creating some currents. That game. Yeah, he's still having a conversation with the team captain. Great game, some great play. Ostroff, not overawed by his esteemed German teammate. Really got to feel that the Ostroff backhand caused a lot of problems for Timo Ball today. Just so much power and precision coming off the racket. That was a good battle between two good friends and two teammates as well. And in the end, it was, despite the timed game, it was uh, a success for Ofteroff, who won by three games to two. <laughs>